Disclaimer, this video is for education and information purpose only. Index and stock talked about in this video are purely used as examples. This video is not meant for advisory or recommendation purpose. So in today's video, like we'll be learning how to process the data uh, using Quantman. Uh, like we can just download the data from uh, Quantman as a CSV and we'll upload it to an another Excel, which is known as a portfolio manager. So I'll be sharing you the Excel as well in today's session. So how to do uh, the things, okay? So first and foremost, like where you can get, uh, get this Excel, uh, let me just uh, take you to the Telegram. So in Telegram, like uh, you can just go to, you can search Quantman. Okay, you can just search Quantman. And in Quantman, like uh, you can just find, um, okay, just go to files. Okay, just click over here and go to files. On the files, you will find this particular file. Just download it. Okay, just download it and then open the Excel file. <clears throat> okay so now what we do like we just click on edit uh enable edit button over here over there in the top and uh, here is where you're going to learn a lot of things in today's session okay so don't worry uh, i'm going to teach you step by step like what are the things which is involved in this particular portfolio manager okay so once you uh, click over here then it just shows you a risk a security risk because there is a macros which has been enabled on it okay so my system detects it's uh, detected as a risk file. So what I do, I just uh, save this file in my local disk. Okay, and say download it. It just um, make it as an untrust. Uh, like it does not trust this uh, file. So I just click on file and then I just save as, and then I just browse it and then save it in my um, in my local folder. Okay, once I saved it, and then uh, let me just close this. Okay, so now what I do, uh, I just try to reopen the file from the local disk where I saved it. Okay, I just go over here and then I open it. Okay, so this is uh, this is the file. Okay, so once you just open this file, you just click on enable content. Once you click on enable content, there will be a, a file which will be open. It will say welcome to DD Portfolio Manager and thank for downloading this file. Then you just click OK. So now everything is yours. OK. So it's now you can just download the data from Quantman and then you can just feed it over here. And once we're done with the first feed, I will give you lots and lots of explanation about this particular Excel and how it is going to improvise your trading skill. OK. So this may look a smaller concern, but this has a very big impact. OK. Um, so in, in, in general, in Tamil, they used to say like, uh, they used to say, which, which means that, uh, even if it is a small thing, it makes a very big, uh, difference. Okay. So people may think this is just an Excel, but there is something wonder behind it. Okay. So now let me just, uh, go to Quantman. Okay. And then I open my broker. Oh, I not yet open my broker today. Just give me a moment. I have opened it, but why? Okay, things that got logged out of shit. Session is bad. Because I was just sitting from the morning in Quantman. I was doing some research on option buying. Nowadays, option buying, like I, I'm becoming more option buyer than seller. Okay. It's, everything is because of quantum. Allah is blue and then it's like, okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So it just got logged in. And now uh, let me just take you to the strategy. Like, okay, let me just create the Bollinger Band strategy. It's going to be very simple. Let me just uh, click on January. 2017. So in Quantman, we do process seven years of data, right? And then what I do, I just put BB3M, uh, BB3M, three minutes Bollinger Band, RSI, keyword point, and then what? And then, yeah, 930. Okay, so on what script I'm going to do? Bank Nifty. 
and then what I do, I just delete this. I don't want this five minutes candle. Add an indicator, current candle, three minutes time frame, save it. Next is going to be the super trend, uh, 10 comma two, three minutes time frame, save it. And then type Bollinger Band, three minutes time frame, save it, RSI, RSI, three minutes time frame, save it, uh, pivot point, pivot point, traditional, save it, and then click on edit, uh, current candle close is above the super trend, and then current candle close is above the Bollinger Band. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't worry, Nathan. I just forgot to change that. I'll just do that. Don't worry. Current candle close is above the upper Bollinger Band, is above the level of R1, and then relative strength index uh, is above 70. And then I say my time of the day, well, for my entry time of the day is above 9.30. Okay, so everything is set fine. I just save it. And now it's time for me to provide my exit. Current candle close is below the middle Bollinger Band. No, no, below the super trend. I'm planning my exit. Okay, so now everything is set fine. So all things are good. And the very important thing is if you want to do equity segment, then you can select equity and index. So I personally go ahead with future and options. Okay, I just go ahead with future and options. And then I select weekly expiry instead of monthly expiry. And always I select premium and uh, call by your 400 premium, buy it. Everything is set fine, only one lot per day. I'm not going to use any strategy stops over here. Expiry is going to be intraday and three trades a day. Just run the backlist. Okay, and then if you want to buy a plan using Quantman, you can just use the code web 10. Okay, I just post the same in the chat box as well. Okay, so you get 10% discount on all your purchases like Billy monthly, quarterly as well as annual. Okay, so now we got the results. Okay, so once you've back, done the back testing, you just put uh, your wish from 0.75 to 1.5 either like anything you can put for option buying okay so after slippage you can see 4 lakhs 68000 rupees of net profitability rpt of 1.339 it's pretty good okay so everything is set fine so now you guys see the profitability over here is 5 lakh 66000 but whenever it comes to people people used to ask one thing okay people used to ask one thing First and foremost, what will be the brokerage amount? Because people are more concerned about the brokerage, right? So, and then uh, the slippage problem. Okay, these are the two things which strikes the mind of a retail trader. Okay, which strikes the mind of the retail trader. Okay, so now what we do, and uh, let me just uh, do um, it not with the air quant man so we just go over here in the down and we can find download csv file okay so just so just click on download csv just click on download csv once you click on download csv the file will be downloaded and this is how the file looks like okay where is it yeah this is how the file looks like the file will have transaction details the file will have transaction detail and the instrument which you have traded and the quantity by entry uh, the price and the time exit uh, will be the sell and then uh, price exit time and what's the profit it has made okay kindly ignore this minimum profit and maximum profit this will be not available for the regular use so till the profit is what you guys see okay Till the profit is what you guys see. 
okay so i just click on the first uh, a1 okay i just click on a1 and click control a and then copy the entire data okay maybe like it's 600 data so it may look simple but if you are doing option selling and uh, it will be somewhere like 2000 or 3000 lines okay for buying it is very small okay so now you just uh you just selected everything control a and then control copy okay now we just just copied all this file all all the data over here in this file and now go to the portfolio manager okay so you just go to the portfolio manager and then you just scroll it to the right scroll it to the right now here is where we see transaction instrument the similar thing what we find on quantman uh, the csv file right just click on the transaction the first the transaction and then paste it control v okay you just copy it there and paste it over here okay and now you just give the name of the strategy as 930 strategy because this trade takes uh, bb 3m 930 strategy okay i just keep this name as that and uh, it's going to be buying uh, just ignore those things okay so just give the name and then click on add data you see here the add data right so just click on add data now this data will be added to this particular excel okay just click on okay just click on okay so actually what what happens you know once you provide the data over here and click on add button it captures the entire data and post it in the bottom you see strategy one you see the data has been posted automatically and day by penal everything has been calculated and you can see strategy two nothing is over here so once you post the data there everything will be bought in over here and uh, like everything will be done so you just no need to think too much uh, you don't need to look into all this 20 pages in the bottom just in the front page, in the dashboard itself, you can complete all the stuff. All the calculations will be done on the background. Okay, so no need to worry about anything. So now, you see, like I have uh, seven. Okay, so I put one lot instead of two lots. Okay, once I put one lot, you can see just three lakh fifty one thousand rupees of profit. But whereas, I just close this. It's no more required. Okay. Whereas the quantman shows 5,66,000. 5,66,000. Okay, but here it shows only 3,51,000. First thing what you need to check is the start date and the end date. The start date is somewhere like in 2019, but I am do, I'm done the backtesting from the year 2017. And till yesterday, I just done the backtesting, right? So it is 8, 12, 2023 done so boom so now you see 4,91,000 rupees of profit over here and but still here it shows 5,66,000 what comes over here as just 4,91,000 okay so what is the next difference just scroll it down and then okay so in the, 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 the right side you see brokerage so brokerage, I don't want to add the brokerage. I no say no to brokerage. Now the brokerage taxes won't be added over here. And slippage. Okay, so now here comes the slippage. Okay, so uh, I create like many strategies, right? So I don't use same slippage for both buy-ins, like for all the strategy. I use different, different slippages. So I give no. If I want to give yes, once I change it to yes, now this dialog box will go and it will apply 0.5 percentage of slippage. So I put zero slippage. I put zero slippage. So now you can see 5,66,018 as profitability and the exact amount comes up over here. Okay. So now I want to add a slippage of 0.75 percentage for all the trades I take. I put 0.75 and then I click OK. So now it just adds my slippage and you just see how much is the slippage cost in the bottom. It shows 98,000 rupees of slippage has happened. 98,000 rupees of slippage has happened. Then what I do, I just try to add the brokerage as S. I click on S. Now 
if once I give the brokerage a shares, it will calculate all the stuffs. It will calculate all the stuffs. Okay. So whatever we, we get it in a contract note, right? So based upon the entry and exit, it calculates everything. Okay. So it just put 24 rupees for buy and 20 rupees for sell. And it says 5,073 rupees of brokerage has been received. Okay. So now everything is set fine. Now everything is set fine. Okay, sorry, sorry, so this is average profit. Sorry. 41,870 is the brokerage. 41,870 is the brokerage. Slippage is 98,000 rupees. And this is for one lot. If you are putting one lot, what Quantman shows is 5,66,000 rupees. And after the slippage and brokerage, you will be landing up with 4,26,000 rupees. But still, it's a decent profit. It's a decent profit. And then the capital required is shows wrong, right? So no need to worry. We can see here capital. I put 1,50,000 over here. But actually right now we required 60. Uh, sorry, we just put a premium of 400, right? 400 premium into lot size is going to be 15. So it is 6,000 rupees per lot. Okay, the margin amount. Just put 6,000 rupees over here for the margin amount. It calculates it, okay, and uh, now it just shows 50,000 rupees is required. And why it shows 50,000 rupees is required? You just see, it takes the 6,000 rupees over here. It just takes the 6,000 rupees over here. Let me just, uh, okay, let me just explain why it shows 50,000. Um, you can see the drawdown amount over here shows 14,300 rupees. And then the 6,000 rupees over here. Okay, 6,000 rupees over here. So altogether it's 20,000 rupees is required. But the drawdown is calculated in such a way, you can just, okay. the calc uh, you can just see, it is calculated 1.4 times. It is calculated 1.4 times. Okay, now I'm gonna just share it, don't worry. Okay, it's just 1.4 times it is calculated. So if it is 14,327 plus 140%, like it, it just says, okay, plus 40%. Okay, it just required 20,000 along with that, the margin amount 26,000. But how we have initiated is, uh, we say like we just round it off to, 50,000. We just round it off to 50,000. You can see the value. We just put it as, uh, we just using this option, ceiling option, where we can just round it off figures. Okay. So if it comes below 50,000, it just put 50,000. If it comes above 51,000, it just round it off in such a way, like it just take it to the 1 lakh. Okay. Margin ticker. So let me just remove that ceiling amount. And then I just click OK. Okay. So now... Just a moment. Okay. Document. Mm, this is comma. Yeah, so I just put comma thousand. Okay, so now it calculates this exactly as 27,000. Okay, so it just calculated it as 27,000. If you don't need of uh, like rounding it off, okay, or else, and few people may think that, okay, I just don't want to put 1.4 times. I want to put two times the drawdown. Then you just put two over there. That's it. So if you put two times, the, like uh, two times the drawdown, then it just requires you 35,000 rupees for one lot. And that is what the suggested method as well. Two times the drawdown, if you keep, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay. So uh, I don't know how to use external signal webhook. Like those things are those things are not possible using Quantman. Okay. No external signals of web webhook can be done through Quantman. Okay. And now, like you can just see like, uh, okay, this is not something like very big. You, you, you may feel that, okay. So let me just ask you something. This is a one lot what you put, okay? And just scroll it down, just scroll it down. You can see the entire heat map, 
like how much months has been profit or how much months has made losses. Okay. And the very important thing, you can see the drawdown duration. Okay. 183 days of drawdown duration is there for this particular strategy. And what is the drawdown amount? This is fine. And now if you put instead of one lot, if you put five lots or if you just put eight lots, okay, and you just come down, the same drawdown duration is there, 183 days of duration is there. And then it just calculates the drawdowns accordingly. And you can just look into the maximum profitable days, okay? So maximum profitable days, top five maximum profit days, top five maximum loss days. And on what are the days, how much profits has came, okay? So those things can be identified from here. And after the brokerage and slippage, if you calculate the RPT, what would be the RPT? And average, like these are things like which is already available in quant map. The drawdown duration is one of the very important thing where you can understand. And the very, very important thing, the very, very important thing, okay? You guys are going to make it something very, very important. Just see, drawdown duration for each and every year has been calculated. The drawdown for the year as well calculated. From the, from the year 2017, it's been like 78,000. And next, 91,000. And one out five lakhs. Yeah, I'll, I'll be providing it, don't worry. Okay. So one out five, 59, 92,000, 61,000, 58,000. Okay. So these are the individual year-wise drawdown as well as the drawdown duration. As well as the drawdown duration. In the year 2017, the drawdown duration was 126 days. Okay. And then 120, 183 days in 2018. And 95, 39, 43, 58 and 36. Now you guys let me know whether this strategy has performed in the past or in the present. Whether this strategy has performed in the past or in the present. Come on guys, type answers in chat box. The margin used is as per the 15 quantity, but... Uh, the gain uh, loss quantity for 25. See, like, uh, obviously, like, you just, that's why I just put two times the drawdown, right? So it will, it will automatically take care, okay? So don't worry, you just added only one strategy. So don't, in the, the next, we'll add two strategies, we'll add three strategies, we'll add four strategies, and we will do a lot of stuffs, okay? It's, it's not going to stop right away. There are lots and lots of things we'll be discussing, okay? How many is the data and perform? Come when the lot size is. See, like, uh, another, like, let me just uh, put it with the uh, right example. People may think that 15, uh, like earlier it was 25, now it is 15. Okay. So uh, let me just experimentally see, like, what exactly happened. Okay. So, because, like, on the based on the live data, you can, you can understand things clearly, right? So let me just showcase. See, on March 3rd, we were able to get 418 and exit at 835. Okay. On the same strategy, like we were able to get on 4th of December, like this last Monday, we were get the entry at 381 and we exited the trade at 977. Okay. And obviously, we, we made a, a bigger money than the past. The number of trades has uh, like earlier it was the 50 quantities and now it has become 30 quantities. Okay. See, like we can just, uh, we can just shift ourselves instead of putting two lots, we put three lots. Okay. And that is what like maximum we can just do. And another important thing is it's been a very short duration. Okay. It's a very short duration. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, we can't expect like, uh, this sort of changes, which has to be happened because in the past I have personally seen like the, from 40, because I, I'm, I'm trading from the from the period of 40 lot size, okay? So it, be, it become normalized, okay? So it will take some time, okay? So uh, once we feel that the market goes in somewhere near to uh, near to 45, uh, near to 50,000, the bank nifty, obviously like we will be considering it to change the values as well in the upcoming days, okay? Uh, don't worry, Mr. Shankar Lingam, so like it, it will just take some time, okay? So let me just put it on the other way. So those who are joining for the first time, okay, those who are joining for the first time, okay, it might be quite hard for you to understand things 
very clearly. Okay, so uh, what you do, you just go to option school. Okay. Okay, just go to option school and then click on videos. Okay, so there you can just find the early videos. Okay, so if you just want to start with, you can just start with zero appointment zero, tutorial zero zero one, where see so like this is this Saturday session is being conducted, not this is the first day. Okay, so already we have completed another eight weeks, which means two months has been literally completed, and you are sitting on the ninth episode of this particular series. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that it will be quite hard for you to understand because it may be the day one or the day two for you. Okay, so don't worry, like uh, you just watch out all these videos. Okay, then only you'll be able to understand what I'm teaching today. Okay, so it's not like day one, like we are just teaching it. So it's been like two months, we have literally completed it. And today is the last session of this particular series. Okay, so it's been eight weeks or it's been nine weeks, which means which is literally two months of session. So if you're sitting on the day one, definitely it's not going to be uh, easy for you to understand. Okay, so sorry for it. You guys can just uh, watch out all this video. I have explained all the strategies, whatever I personally use in my portfolio in this seven videos. Okay, so just watch, try to give some time for this video and watch it. So each and every, every video will be more than a hard time. So please uh, give the time. And if you're a very beginner to options trading, if you're very, very beginner to option trading, don't worry, just watch this video, Option Trading 101, A Beginner's Guide to master uh, Mastering the Basics. This is a two hearts video. And if you understand, if you able to uh, answer all the questions I ask during the interval of uh, the session, you guys will be able to make it big. Okay. Um, obviously, this will be helping you a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. So don't worry. Okay. Fine. How it works, exit, exit, exclusive, uh, executive popular mode. Uh, so like, it, it's, it's all, uh, it's, it's all going to showcase you guys. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, show your portfolio Excel 30 lakhs of last for understanding. Yeah, sure. Sure. I'll just show that. Okay. Okay. So now let me just come back over here and then. Um, okay, so people have a doubt. Okay, where I can download this Excel? No need to worry anything. Just go to uh, Telegram and then find Quantman. Okay, then you can just find Quantman page over here. Okay, so 4,900 people. Just click on it. Once you click on, this is the page and this is how it exactly looks like. Go to like media will be the first. Then click the files. Okay. Then you just click on files. Okay. Then you can just find it the file over here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Okay. So you can just find, click on the files. Then you can find the things over here. Okay. So this is, you can just download it from here and then you can just use it. Okay. But first and foremost, try to save it on your, try to save it on your local disk and then use it. If you're not saving it on your local disk, then you'll be not able to do it. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. So now let me just go back to the Excel. See, individual year-wise drawdown, you can just find it. Okay. And individual year-wise drawdown duration as well, you can find it. Okay. And this is one of the big game changer. This is one of the big game changer. I, I personally felt after... Uh, uh, after creating this particular Excel, I was able to make it big. And 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 you, you know one thing, this Excel was created by a subscriber. Okay, this Excel was created by a subscriber. And just imagine like how much, how much input like he, he would have given and um, like this sort of potential like you, you can never explore in other platforms. Okay, so like nothing is required to program in Quantman. Okay, nothing is required to do uh, Quantman. Please watch this seven videos. Okay, you can understand it to a greater extent. Okay, you're joining for the first session. So obviously it will be like totally a bouncer for you. Okay, so it will be quite hard to bat. Okay, so if you're putting a bouncer, so don't worry. Like this will be uh, like once you watch out the seven videos, you guys will be more comfortable. Okay, fine. So now uh, like we had the uh, quantity, like first I have just given the first quantity and then on this particular strategy, 
what I do, uh, I just copy and edit the same strategy. And then I just uh, change few things. Okay, so I just copy and edit. And then I just don't want to take a trade at 9.30. I just save it now. And then I run the back testing. In trade auto or needed attention to patients. Like uh, obviously, like uh, it's not required. So I personally use like different brokers. Yeah, yeah I'm just sharing the strategy. Don't worry. I just post a strategy in the chat box. Okay, you can just uh, copy the link. I just posted it in the chat box for everyone. Please copy it and paste it somewhere. Okay, so now we get the base RP. Okay, so now what I do. I just come down and then I find, okay, so now this is the backtest result. If you need to give this data into the feed of Quantman, just click on download CSV. The file will be downloaded. Click over here and uh, then immediately you'll find this Excel. So just no need of, this is how it looks like for you. Just click Control A and then copy, Control C, sorry, Control copy and then just come over here and then paste it on the transaction. Okay, paste, paste it on the transaction and then you just name it as ordinary BB, right? So BB3M and then click on the strategy one. You see a drop down box over here. Just click it and give it a strategy two. Give it as strategy two and then add it to the data. Okay, and then click okay. So uh, no need to worry, I'll just repeat it once again. So now you see the BB3M has been added over here. I give eight, I give eight. Okay, if I give it as eight, and now you guys just have a look. Now you guys just have a look. Okay, so earlier it was showing an RPT of 1.52. And now I put in another eight lots on a different strategy. It became 1.42. But, but just scroll it down and see the first strategy has 183 days of drawdown. The next strategy had 75 days of drawdown. If we combine, if we combine both the strategies, our early drawdown has came down significantly. Okay, has came down significantly from the level of 185 to the level of 75 to the level of 75 and then try to change the law amount over here as 6000 yeah like th this session will be recorded and this session will be uploaded in uh, option school youtube channel by next week okay the fine and the very very important thing over here is the correlation matrix now you guys see now you guys see this strategy showcase one, like the, uh, the first and second strategy are correlated 89% of time. Okay, it is correlated 89% of times. Now you guys tell me, instead of putting one lot on the first strategy, it's better you can put two lots on the second strategy. Because they are correlated 89% of the times. They are correlated 89% of times. Okay, so now what I do, I just try to recreate this strategy. Okay, I can just try to recreate this strategy. And now I add another indicator. Okay, so what else indicator I can add? I can add CCA. I can add CCA. I just click on add indicator and I say CCI, three minutes time frame, save it. And I say my CCA commodity channel index is above uh, say 140 and then save it and then run back testing. Okay, don't ask me why I put 140. I just put 140. And I'd not had any plan of why I put 140. Like it's like uh, because um, in the past I have used 140 once. So I think so it should be good. Okay, it shows 1.56 RPT. Earlier one was 1.57 RPT. So RPT was not increased significantly. But let me just uh, check out on number of trades. 843 trades, 837 trades. Okay, so it looks similar. What else I can add? What else I can add? 
Come on, guys, give me some suggestion. Any indicators I can add? I want to take an entry if the previous day candle course is above the super trend. It could be a super trend setting from daily time frame. Like daily time frame is not possible as of now. I like VWAP will show a similar result. Let me just try VWAP. Okay, click on add indicator, add VWAP. And then save it. I will click on edit and then click on add condition. And the same current candle close is above the level of VWAP. Not previous day VWAP, current day VWAP. Save it. Just run the back testing. Uh, eight year long is below eight year short. Okay, stochastics, Williams are. MACD. Okay, let me just do next. We we'll try to add MACD. Okay, so whether we see whether the RPT is increasing or not. If the RPT is not increasing, it is no use, right? Ah, I just got the point what to add. Okay, leave it. Now it's, it's my turn. Okay, so I just type volume. My king is there. Add indicator. Volume or not solid. Volume will not come like that. Put current candle. And then put three minutes time frame. Just close the price on the field. Click over here. Now you find volume on the second. Future volume, save it. Just click on edit, add condition and say, just scroll it down. You can see current 10 close is above, say 50,000. Save it, run the back testing. I do think this will go way beyond 1.7 RPT. Uh, this is 1.68. Okay. So let me just change it. This should go above 1.75. If I'm right. I just given the volume as 35k, nothing big. Okay, so we got the results, I think so. Uh, 1.67, are we? 35k. Okay, so it will be uh, 1.67, fine. Okay, okay, just go more down and then download the CSV. I don't think so, the other one has given, 50K has given more, I think. Mm. This is 1.68, okay, this is 1.68. This is fine. 1.68, this one is 1.67. Okay, just take 1.68. I just copy this strategy for you guys. I just make it public and share it with you in the chat box. Okay. Just come down and now click on download CSV. Once the CSV is downloaded, click over here. Now the Excel file will open. Just scroll it, delete these things. Click over here and click on Control A, Control Copy. And come over here where to paste it. Just go towards the right. The transaction is there. Control V and give it as 50K. Okay, I just give it name as 50K. Okay, and this is a strategy three. Click over here, strategy three, and then click on add data. Click on add data successfully. Now the data has been added successfully. And now you can see the change, the strategy three name has been changed. And now I put eight lots over here and my RPT has not changed and my drawdown has increased considerably. And I just notice one thing like whether I can put instead of the first strategy, I can combine the second two strategies. Okay. So in order to look into that, you guys can see the first strategy and the second strategy are correlated 89 percentage. The first strategy and the Third strategy are correlated 88% of time. And on the same case, the second cat st strategy 
is correlated with the third strategy 95 percentage of the time okay so now there is an answer for something okay people used to ask me like did you teach the strategy to each and everyone so is it possible for the strategy to be um like a strategy will be uh, like followed by the institutions they will hit our stop loss see please understand one thing unlike option selling option buying is more direction oriented game it's more direction oriented game hence it is a direction oriented game if the if the big player need to make profit if the big player need to make profit now you guys tell me whether uh, there is a dog which is barking every now and then i don't know like what happened to the dog um are okay you guys hear that sound or uh, it's been uh, like suppressed by the mic no okay that's great thanks to road mic okay fine um okay so now uh, now there is an answer for that question whether it will be uh, like each and every one follow the system whether the system will be broken see in option buying that can never be done why because why because if the market starts to trend all the buyers need to make profit the option sellers need to make loss there is no other go option sellers need to make loss and as well as option buyers will make profit only if the market trends if the market is in sideways will the buyer make money come on guys tell me tell, tell your answers in chat box if the market is in sideways the buyers will make money or not obviously no the market need to trend in order to make the money in order to make the money and that's what i say guys that's what i say see guys in just 3 days we were able to make the entire money okay and and now let me just ask you a question on 4th of december like on the last monday we taken the trade at 381 taken the trade at 381 and we exited the trade somewhere like 977 and now you guys tell me any seller would have made money from the rally of 381 to 977 is it possible for a seller to make money from the rally of 381 to 977 obviously no and that's a hedge of option buying that's a hedge of option buying option buying can never be like a find out okay whether this this is how they see if the if the big players are making money the strategy will also make money the strategy will not will also make money this strategy will also make money okay that's a that's a very very important thing what you guys need to understand okay because like this is this is one of the very important thing one of the very important thing okay so this clearly because you can see the correlation even though you're changing different different sort of stuffs all the all the directional strategies will have same uh, like correlation see the correlation between both the strategy will be bare minimum 75 percentage okay if it is 75 percentage correlated is it possible to create a strategy within this like in order to in order to target the retail traders is it possible to do it in buying never but in option selling it's very easy people put 920 short straddle 25 25% stop loss what happened to the strategy khatam ho gaya it is no more making money because it's easy to hit the stop loss 25% on the top and 25% on the bottom it's very simple in option selling that can that can be done okay let me just ask you another question in option selling in option selling you see if the market goes up and comes down like this and ends like this is it possible to make money in option selling in this account in this day is it possible to make money on this particular day no 
90 percent no if you put big stop loss say like 100 percentage or 80 percentage it is possible it is possible or else heart may fail <laughs> or else it's going to be a double side stop loss for the option option sellers but in option buying it is not the case option buying it's not the case okay so now you can see here um, instead of the first strategy what I put I just delete the first strategy and now I see my RPT has came down 1.42 and I just delete this strategy my RPT is 1.48 and I put 8 lots over here my RPT is 1.44 now which is the best combination first strategy and the third strategy is the best combination and the first strategy and the second strategy is not the best combination Okay, I put 8 over here. Okay, you see 1.42 RPT. What I do, I just delete the first one and then I put the third one. I see RPT 1.41. Now I put first one, second one, third one. My RPT is 1.42. Now I delete the second one. Now my RPT is 1.44, which is the best RPT. Which is the best RPT. Exactly. One and three is the best RPT. This is how you, you need to build it. This is how you need to build it. Okay. And I will just show you something. Okay. Don't worry. Like I will just show my portfolio like uh, because you can just have a glimpse of how it exactly looks like. Okay. So just I have created many like even I don't know like which which, which I need to use. Mm, yeah. Actually, I do a lot of research. Okay. So my portfolios will look like this. Um, it's taking too long to, to load. Why? Because it is fully loaded. Okay. So I just put BBR1. This is a strategy. Eight lots. And then I put CC, 8 lots, S1 I don't want to use. I delete S1. And then R1, NAPE, BPPE, volume 8. Okay. I don't think so I can put 8 lots everywhere. 0.93 RPT. I put 1.51% slippage, I think so. Put 0 0.75 slippage. Okay, so now we can just see uh, this strategy has a RPT value of 1.08. Okay, and uh, and it's like the number of loss making months is only four, and the drawdown duration is 47 trading days. Okay, these are trading days. Okay, and then just come to the right, and then you come to the right, and you can find things very crucial. The first strategy and second strategy is correlated with 83 percentage. But we have negative values over here. What these negative values represent? What these negative values represent? What these negative values represent? Come on, guys. Type answers in chat box not correlated not correlated see those are the stats because the call and put are totally totally different concerns right okay so this is a put strategy so the call strategy is negative correlated it is negative correlated okay this makes it very very important this makes it very very important see this is this correlation matrix will guide you to a greater extent this correlation matrix will give you a picture of what to do and what not to do. Okay, so now the very, very important thing what you guys need to use in this particular Excel is when to enter into the strategy. When to enter in this strategy. Okay, this strategy will give you an understanding. Okay, it's overhead, not able to understand single word. See, like, uh, see, for those who feel this is totally uh, a bouncer for you, 
please go to option school youtube channel and then watch it okay so watch the last seven videos you will understand very clearly one man tutorial 001 till this you just watch it then you will be understanding it okay then you'll be understanding things clearly see this this session has been conducted for the past two months okay and those who join today and this is this happens on every week so those who joined last week after, after they see this video then only they will understand what i thought on the last week okay so it just takes time for you guys to understand okay it just takes time for you guys to understand so please stay with me please stay with me okay so now um, let me just go to the excel and see this is the excel which plots the chart Okay, the equity curve along with the 50 moving average of the equity curve. Okay, whatever you see over here is the equity curve. What you see on the dashboard? What you see on the dashboard? This is the same. How to go to that? Just click on the PNL chart. Okay, once you click over here, now this will take you to this page, and here you can see the 50 moving average, the 50 moving average along with the equity curve. And whenever the 50, whenever the equity curve touches a 50 moving average, that's where we take the entry. That's where we take the entry. Okay. So it's, it's exactly, you can just see over here. Whenever it touches the 50 moving average, that's the right time to enter into strategy. Goes up. Touches, goes up. Touches, goes up. Touches, goes up. And that's where we need to create our entry. If somewhere you're sitting here, you can wait until it touches the 50 moving average. Once it touches the 50 moving average, then you can just take the trades. Then you can take the trades. Okay. Did you guys understand why this chart has been added over here? See, in order to deploy this, like you need to uh, like put all the strategies. And even I don't know where these strategies are. Okay. Because like it's been like created very long way, I think so. Maybe like I'll just get the date, date, uh, six one. So it's been like one year, one year past. I've done this section. Okay, so I'm hundred percent sure that I'll be not using that. Okay, that's fine. So now uh, let me just take you to the Excel once again. See, like, I, I hope so, like you guys don't understand it uh, to the greater extent. Okay, so no need to worry about it. So down the line, you can just learn a lot of things. Okay, so uh, like till now, whatever you understood, okay, just keep it and uh, just try to practice uh, by putting the data into this particular Excel. What are the strategies you created, right? You put that into the Excel. Okay, so I'll just teach you once again how to find this Excel and then uh, how to uh, add data to this Excel, okay? So just go to Telegram. In Telegram, like, uh, what is this? The top of. So just go to Telegram and then find Quantman. Okay, just type Quantman. And then you can find 40, uh, sorry, 4,900 people. Just click over there. And then you just go to, uh, this is how it looks like, okay? So just once you click, once you click over here, this is how it looks like. On that, you find medias first, then the files. Click on the files. Then you find out this Excel over there. Just click. And this down, this file will be downloaded. And this file will be downloaded. Okay. And then you can just click here and then open it. Limited to last one. Let so me change it to limited to last one. So uh, now the file will open like this and please ensure click on enable editing. Then it will throw you an error. A few systems uh, will accept it, but uh, my system will not accept it. It will, like, it will throw a risk over there because macros have been enabled. Okay. So then what you need to do is because the system does not support this file because you have downloaded from internet, right? So then click on files. Then you just save as, click on save as, and then you just save it. Uh, in a name, okay, in your local disk. I just put it in my local disk and then I save it. And now I just close this. Okay, just close this as well. Okay, 
and then what I do, I just go to my file. I go to my file. And then I just click over here. Now the Excel file will open. It will take qu quite long time because this Excel file is quite bigger one. Then click on enable content. Now they will be showing welcome to DD Portfolio Manager. Thanks for downloading. Then click OK. Now this everything is set fine. So what you how you need to upload the data? Very simple. You just go to the strategy and then come down and then click on download CSV. Once you click on download CSV, the file will be downloaded. Open that Excel file and there uh, like you will not find these two tabs. Okay, so just click uh, now. This is how it looks like for you. And then click Control A, Control Copy, Control C, Control Copy, and then Control C, Control C, copy the file, and then come back to the Excel, the Portfolio Manager Excel. Then scroll it, scroll it to the right. Then you find the transaction instrument in the yellow color. Just click on the transaction and then paste Control V. Okay, and then now you can find strategy one. If you want to do strategy one strategy, like all the strategy 20 till 20 is available here. But first I upload the data to strategy one. I give a name called as uh, like it's totally your call. I give a name three uh, BB3M. Okay, and then I click on add data. Once you click on add data, now this particular data will be added to the uh, page and it will just show you everything. And you can put brokerage and taxes change the date from 2017 if you like if you from what date what uh, like see if you want to if, if you want to change the date and check it right you need uh, in quantman you need to run it once again you need to run the strategy once again but in the portfolio manager you don't need to worry you can just change the date and everything will be set fine and everything will be set fine okay so i just want to do it till 2023 uh 12 and then I put on uh, eight, okay, till yesterday. Okay, I just get this result. And uh, so you can just try to match it. I don't put brokerage, no brokerage. And then slippage, I put S, same slippage for all, and then put zero over here. And I put one lot. Okay, now you can see 566,018 rupees. And this backtesting also shows 566,018 rupees. Okay, so both the datas are same. And then you can just add brokerage to it. Click S brokerage and then add slippage 0.75 percentage. And when to enter into the strategy, click on PNL, then see when it touches the 50 moving average, take the entry. That's it done. That's it done. Okay, then if you want to return to dashboard, click on dashboard. Now this will bring back to the page. And you can see individual drawdown as well as the drawdown duration. And then how much uh, is the drawdown, uh, what's the peak one. Here you can see year-wise drawdown and the drawdown recovery phase as well. And then uh, you can just use this as a correlation matrix. You can put multiple strategies, whatever you use, and you can find the correlation. And how it helps, if you say like 90, uh, like it is 98% correlated, instead of putting two strategy, you put one strategy and put multiple lots. That's it, simple. Okay, so it helps you to a greater extent. Okay, I hope so. Like how you guys, you make use of this uh, portfolio manager. Okay, so uh, for those who join for the first time, it may be look like a quite bouncer for you guys, but please ensure to watch out all the early videos, if uh, all the seven videos which I have uploaded. And tomorrow I'll be uploading another V1 video. Okay, so uh, once it's uploaded, like you can just have a view over here. And please watch out these videos. Everything, every video will be like more than a hard time. I have explained more about option buying, option selling. First three videos, option buying. Second three videos, option selling. And then the fourth video will be portfolio manager. Okay. And now, uh, now, now another important thing, a small shout out. If you want to buy a plan using Quantman, you can just use the code web10. Okay, you can just get the 10 percentage of discount. I just post it in the code as well. Please send the three strategy link once again. Uh, okay, I'll just send it. Um, this one. Like I have explained like many strategies uh, in the past. Okay, so those things are already available in uh, already uh, you have it over there. Okay.
So uh, I don't think so. These are the two things. Okay. That's fine. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining the session. It's really signing off for the day. So next week, we'll be starting it with a new series where I'll be teaching you guys the very basics of option buying and uh, options trading. I think so. Okay, I'm not pretty sure. Like uh, the Excel, you need to get it from Quantman Telegram page. Go to go to uh, find Quantman. Okay, let me see. Okay, so find Quantman. Go to Quantman's page. And in Quantman page, go to files. Files, you can find this thing. Okay. Uh, the third strategy, just hold. I'll just share the third strategy. Nine thirty. What is this? Nine thirty. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I posted it. Can you put uh, send all this? Yeah, I just shared it. No, earlier like we just watch it over there. Like we just get we get it from here. Okay, because it's it's a very very it's a very big process. Okay, so you can just get it from the videos what what we have uploaded earlier. Okay. Thank you guys. Uh, thanks for joining uh, the session. So it's really signing off for the day. It's been a one hour. Uh, thanks for providing your one hour. That on the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. See you on the next week. We'll learn something very new. Okay. Thank you.